Hi, this is Coach Sandy. Wellness with Attitude is the name of my business, and we are in the month of May. This is Thoughtful Thursday. We've been talking about growth and transition this month. We've been talking about the things that we take for granted and the things that we can feel grateful for and how we can make that switch. We've also been talking about the foundation for any transformation or growth as being set in our belief system. And in my coaching sessions, I go much further into our beliefs, where they came from and how they serve us. But um, last week, I just wanted to introduce that concept to you. Um, I, I love the quotation that said, um, when we're looking at change, it's not our schedule that really dictates whether or not we're going to make any change or adjustment. It really is our beliefs. And so it, belie it begins with beliefs and then we kind of have to dig a little deeper into those beliefs, which is what we started to do last week. But this week I would like to take you into, um, a, a, what should I say, an exercise, an exercise that um, was introduced to me by Dean Graciosi. So I've been studying with Tony Robbins for years and years. And then this past year of 2020, he came out with several challenges that were done through Zoom and through YouTube, um, given our current circumstances of not being able to meet personally. And that's when I was introduced to Dean. And I've come to have a great deal of respect for him. And, and he is definitely Tony's protege. And um, I think both of them have a world of wisdom, have done a lot of research, their hearts are in the right place. They deal from a place of authenticity and integrity. And so I'm going to take one of his exercises and share it with you today. It's called digging seven layers deep. And I'm not going to take you through all seven layers. Um, and this is an exercise for you to do yourself. But I do want you to be introduced to it. And so it can be used in several different um, manners. Today, we're going to use it in digging into our why. So our why, I'm going to be very kind of upfront with you about why I'm a coach. I'm going to use that as my example for you. And, you know, the things happen in our lives that bring us down a path. And sometimes we don't connect the dots until later in life. So I can pretty honestly say I'm later in life, so I have quite a few dots that I've been able to connect. And so my coaching didn't start out specifically as coaching. It started out more as training. And so I learned when I was in the medical field, I did radiation therapy. So I learned about death and dying and how people cope. And it's so much about their attitudes and their beliefs. Didn't process it a lot at that time, but I have come to process it as I have gone down my journey. And when you take that and move it into my raising two kids, um, I had to dig deep into my beliefs and what was authentic for me. And I discovered that being of your word and being responsible was a very uh, strong belief of mine, which is why I wound up divorced and raising two kids on my own. And then I went into a 100% commission business. I became a Mary Kay sales director. And again, it was about responsibility. And so I'm giving you this to let you know that I've been digging into these layers for years, but recently had to dig a little bit deeper, which I will share with you. So I dealt with women who um, needed to make money or wanted to make money. And um, we had to figure out how, because most of us were not business women by nature. And then I decided to relocate because I wanted my children to be exposed to um, a different kind of society. We were in New England and it was very traditional. And so we moved to the South, which has its own traditions, obviously, but they were different. So it helps you to expand your beliefs and become more uh, accepted. 
So again, I started to expand and dig deeper into my layers. So my layers were now certainly responsibility, being a person of your word, learning to um, have a business, build a business, still on um, credibility, on authenticity, on honesty. And then relocating down here into the South with my daughter going into college and my son going into high school, um, there were all the challenges that were placed against young people then and even more now, I would believe. But um, sticking to my beliefs and raising them um, to be good humans. And then I went into real estate. And so in real estate, again, I took my beliefs and my talents and I had to learn to understand um, the differences in, in the real estate business versus the other things that I had done. So why did I want to bring new agents in and train them and then build accountability? Um, I had heard through Mary Kay that you get what you expect. And so you have to create that accountability. And so that's a lot of what I learned how to do when I was working with my new agents. And we became office of the year. Um, so that was, that was confirming. Then I went on to become a yoga instructor. And again, um, taking my belief system, my strengths, I then transitioned though into finding more patients, find, taking my medical background and working it into the yoga practice so that I could show up for my students where they were, not where I was. So taking myself out of the equation once again started to bring me more from a training role. And obviously a yoga instructor is that, is an instructor, but also into a role of no judgments, dropping some of that type A personality um, that I certainly had and my control issues, which I certainly had and adjusting them to being more kind to myself and consequently being able to show up more for my students. I then uh, became a body centric uh, coach and that allowed me to understand how the body delivers messages to us that if we will quiet down, settle down and use those messages, we can heal ourselves from within, we can reduce stress, we can use tactics and techniques like breath and movement and so I took all of that into my body centric coaching and, and I only really coached people I knew or my yoga students or people they referred to me. So now we bring it up to today and because it is difficult to have a close knit yoga community, although I still have followers and I still teach yoga and we've taken it outside and we've uh, played safe, I decided that I wanted to expand um, into a transitional kind of coach, a change or agent kind of coach, because people are going through a lot. And I had to ask myself, and this is getting down to the deeper layers, why did I want to do this? And why do I want to have group sessions? And honestly and truly, these are the layers that you peel back for your why. What have you learned? What, what has brought you down this path? And why do you want to take it to another step? And my why became, I have an ability to see beyond what's directly in front of me and to project one of my, so some people would call it seeing the forest for the trees and seeing the bigger picture, not letting the obstacles of the tree get in the way, but to find a way around. But one of my last clients said that I have an ability to see into someone's soul. And I'm not sure that that is really accurate, but I do think that I don't watch the peripheral stuff as much as we dig deeper into um, their real desires and their dreams and their beliefs. So I hope this gives you an idea of what digging se seven layers deep is like. This is certainly something I go into more when I have my coaching sessions. Now I do do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, but um, sometime in the summer, I will be introducing a uh, 
an eight week session that will take you through a lot of different of the categories that I've talked about through my Thoughtful Thursdays. So I hope seven layers deep, it's not a Mexican uh, dip. Uh, I know there is one, uh, my best friend loves to make it, but this is a little bit different of digging seven layers deep. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that you have something to take away uh, from this session. And um, I hope that you continue to have a great, uh, a great day. And this is Coach Sandy signing off. And um, be grateful, enjoy, dig maybe seven layers deep, do some homework, and I'll see you next week.